afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast layer with me, your host, Imperial Dane, here to cover the M36 Jackson, which I, in a magnificent display of not getting stuff done, somehow managed to do, forget in the initial rounds of the propaganda cast layers for the Americans. Of course, I have to sort of rectify that one since that certainly can't stand. That's just disgraceful. But the M36 Jackson available here from the battalion command post at a neat 350 man pound and 25. Fuel, it costs more or less the same thing as a Panzer IV, but of course, unlike the Panzer IV, it packs a lot more of a punch versus armour, but on the other hand, it doesn't quite have the same punch versus infantry. In fact, it's more or less not very good. I mean, it has the off chance of killing infantry, but overall, you don't want to get the Jackson to deal with infantry. You've got infinitely better options to deal with infantry there. But overall, again, Jackson there is pretty much the best non doctoral tank destroyer in the game. It has good range, 60 range, it has good penetration, and it does a lot of damage. Throw in a turret, which means it's a lot more mobile, some good veterancy bonuses, and a really good veterancy ability, and it's a pretty solid choice for dealing with enemy armor. But of course, there are some things to keep in mind, and one of them is it's not a tank. You'll be surprised at how many people tend to use it like a tank, and then of course, how many people then have things go horribly wrong once they try to do that. And here again, it's not a tank. The Jackson does not have a lot of health, which means it must goes down quicker to enemy exposed fire. It does not have a lot of impressive armor, meaning in any exposed engagement, the Jackson is going to go down pretty quickly. Of course, your t opponent will try to prioritize it. When it comes to the Jackson, use its range to its full extent. Otherwise, you're in most cases going to end up just allowing your opponent to get some easy hits on the Jackson. And you don't want that. I mean, the fragility of the Jackson is pretty much its weakness. Again, it can't take a lot of hits. For that, it can't deal with anti-tank guns and infantry with anti-tank weapons. You have to be careful about it to an extent. You need infantry to screen it, cover it, scout for it, and maybe use other armor to sort of absorb hits. Again, in any sort of straight-off fight, the Jackson has a very good chance of losing. Again, it can do plenty of damage, but it needs to do so at range and far away from enemy guns. So that's very important there to keep in mind. And again, you know, some players will get upset, you know, they can't function as a tank, but then they're using it wrong. And again, if you're sending a Jackson again, please do it behind something. If you're sending a Jackson first again, your opponent's going to knock it out first, because again, he wants to destroy it. He doesn't want it in any prolonged engagement, sort of knocking away his tanks. Veterans opponent is alright. Again, you get the rather good uh, high-velocity armor-piercing rounds there for it, which pretty much increases penetration and damage, meaning you can actually take out some tanks faster than you could previously and pretty much allows you to take on any heavy armor with E since it's most likely has no chance of bouncing off, at least it's a very minimal chance of bouncing off, so basically an M36 Jackson with its 1 RPS rounds is a very potent threat. And it only gets better with more veterans, increases accuracy, each rate of fire, meaning can fire fast, which only makes the veterans vulnerability better since you then get more effect out of it, and veterans free Further penetration again, further rate of fire, basically meaning that T3 Jackson is an absolute nightmare when also combined with a high, heavy, high velocity armor piercing rounds, it can then pretty much easily take on any armor and win, again, as long as you don't charge it in headlong, and again, don't charge it in headlong. Again, use its range to its full extent, and you'll be happy with the Jackson. Don't, and y obviously you're not. Getting more than one Jackson depends on the situation of dealing with enemy armor of a heavier sort of caliber or just a lot of it. More than one Jackson can help because, again, you can do a lot of damage faster. But of course, you have to be very much careful you don't sort of end up going to heavy and thus leaving yourself vulnerable to infantry. But overall, a pair of Jackson, in particular, versus heavy armor like Tigers, King Tigers, and Lax is not a bad idea either. So I think that rather covers up the Jackson. Of course, it also has the other American traits like Fox Army. It's able to self repair, which is also pretty neat, can fix criticals. And of course, you can always, you know, take, say, for example, you have a more veteran crew already from the fighting, switch it over, so that way you can more easily get a lot of experience right off, which also, for example, allows you quicker get to that one, which again is really good. So that overall covers the Jackson of the M36 tank destroyer. Again, good. Just don't expect it to stand up in a sort of a head on fight. If you do, you're going to get disappointed, of course. One thing to consider, of course, is combine it with other units, or say mines like the M20 mines, without using the Stewart's shell shock ability in conjunction with the Jack can allow to get some easy hits and perhaps, you know, quicker finish off a tank. So, you know, working it with other units is a general rule very good. So I think that rather covers the M36 in Jackson there. Hopefully people should now have a sharper understanding of it. And of course also how to deal with it. I mean, get close to it, blast it apart, use infantry, anti-tank guns, or flank it quick with some tanks. But otherwise, you know, 
do be careful, of course, getting caught up in anything that allows the Jackson to mostly catch you and knock you out. For example, infantry with anti-tank rifle grenades, bazookas can, of course, all use some cover flanks. But I'll let you know, anything can slow down when you're trying to take Jackson is going to be a problem since it only gives the Jackson more time to deal with you. So I think that, well, rather covers it. So again, hopefully this has been instructional. Hopefully you now use the Jackson better. And of course, hopefully you can also fight the Jackson better. And if you did, you know, feel free to like the video there so more people can see it. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to share with everybody else. All that is good and it helps me grow my channel. So thank you all and hope to see you all another time for another Propaganda Cast Lair. Of course, we'll be returning to the more scheduled British units. Bye.